Hey guys, it's Maya. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy watches. And we're just going to be talking about the specs and see if these watches are still good to buy in 2020. I'm just going to be going over with you guys how they work, what functions they have. So if you guys just want to keep on watching and want to know if these devices are still good for you in 2020, then just keep on watching. Just go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we'll go. Okay, so the first thing that you have to know about these Samsung watches is that they were announced on August 9, 2018, and they were released on August 24, 2018. So these watches, they are pretty, like, I wouldn't say old, but, you know, of course, there's a lot of new watches that came out, just like the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier, the Samsung Gear Sport, the Samsung Active Watches, and the Samsung Gear S3 Classic. Of course, those were just a few that I just named, but there's a lot more than that. But I feel like, um, in my opinion, I feel like these were really, really good watches, and I feel like they didn't inspire people as much, because I feel like now the Samsung Actives have taken over so this is why I also want to make the purpose of this video to see if you would consider on making a purchase on the Samsung watches. Galaxy watches, they do come in three different designs of watches. They come with the 46mm, which is the silver one, which goes for $279.99. And there is only one style of the 46mm. I have no idea why, but that's the way they did it. And the rest are 42mm, which is, comes in rose gold and in midnight black. So as you can tell here, I have the 46mm and I have the 42mm, which is mine and this is my dad's. So as you can tell the difference in size because of course, this one of course is the $279.99 because it's more expensive due to the 46 diameter. And this one is 42mm, which is $259.99 because it's smaller. So you guys can literally tell the size difference. This one's way a lot bigger. So if you're a person who is in love with big watches, then I feel like the 46mm is for you. And if you're a person who just likes simple, small little watches and just wants something small as a technology device around your wrist, then I do recommend the 42mm for you. And of course, the 42mm comes in rose gold, like I said, in rose gold and in midnight black. So if you are if you feel uncomfortable with a rose gold, there's also a midnight black for you. So The cool part about the Samsung uh, Galaxy watches is that you are able to change the bands of the watches. So you can just literally unclip this part right here for both watches and you can pick any designs from what you want. Now, speaking of the watches, there is the box that comes with this is the Samsung Galaxy watch, um, the box for the 46mm. Unfortunately, I do not have a 42mm. I'm so sorry. But I'm not going to really get into what's inside because it's basically just the watch and the charging cable. The charging cable does come with three parts. It comes with that one extra watch strap, so you have two options. You can have the one that just the watch that came with it, or you can switch whenever you like with the extra extra strap that they gave you in the box another thing is it comes with the charger so there's three parts to that charger the number one part is the wireless charging stand the wall plug and the micro USB port which of course connects to the wall stand in the back so you can just put your watch in there and it just charges now the Samsung watch devices they have really amazing functions that I believe is just so crazy I feel like it's still good till this year of 2020 especially that these watches came out back in 2018 and one of them has to be is that it has a sleep like cycle tracking so basically it tracks your sleep it tells you how many hours you slept I'm honestly not sure if it tell you you've made any noise throughout the night which I doubt it but I think it only tracks the time this also has reminders for you to keep on moving so if you have reminders on your phone and if you connect to your watch with the same google account or android account the reminders will directly go into your watch and tell you when you have reminders so it's an easier way to get reminded of certain things certain events it also has a calorie tracking which is really really amazing but i believe you cannot um put in calories into the watch. I think you can only do that on the Samsung um, fitness app and I think you can only input calories in your phone but it only tells you really quick how many calories you have eaten so far throughout the day. So it's an easier access to just see what number you are at but again remember that it's easier to input your calorie intake on the Samsung health um, app. 
The watch also has guided meditation and breathing exercises for stress management. You guys do not know how helpful that is for me because I'm a person who tends to stress a lot, especially coming from a college student. So these have like breathing exercises. You're gonna feel good. They're just gonna tell you to calm down. And it also reminds you like, hey, like let's do a meditation thing so you can just breathe in and just breathe out. And it's perfect for you because if you're just anywhere and if you have time to meditate, go for it, you know? So it's really good because it gives you reminders. Of course, you can always deny to cancel that meditation or to do it. Now here is a disadvantage of what I've noticed in the Samsung watches and that has to do with battery life. When I first got the watch, which is about a year ago, um, even though it came out in 2018, I believe I got it in mid 2019. But here's the thing, when I first got the watch, the watch literally lasted me three days. No charging, no nothing. But now since I've already had it for like a year, trust me, I took very good care of it. My dad has taken good care of his watch, no scratches, no overly charging the watches. Um, it just wouldn't last us a day, not even a day. It would literally last us half a day. We would literally have to charge our watches at least two times a day. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it was working really well back then. I don't know if it's because of any updates. I'm not trying to, you know, say anything that there's something bad about updating your devices. It's really good to update your devices, but again, I honestly do not know what happened with the battery life. I don't know if it's because it, we've had these watches for a while. So I just wanted to point that out to you. I, I'm trying to be as honest as I possibly can with this review. So that's only the disadvantage, but at the same time, it does last a good majority of the time like i said it lasts us half a day so if you're a person who goes to work you know a good eight hour shift the watch will literally last you through that whole thing but if you're like trying to go 24 hours it won't last you you would have to have like the charger next to you all the time or a wireless charger you know pad so back to the good advantages is that these watches are waterproof they are literally swim ready resistant let me tell you, last summer, well, summer of 2019, I would always go to the pool with my friends, with my family, and I honestly remember one time of thinking and testing my watch in the pool. I was scared, so scared, because like, no, I'm gonna mess up my watch. But wait, they said that the watch is waterproof. So I had to test it out. Knowing me, seeing if it's true, I had to test it out. So I did. I was swimming in there for like an hour, and when I got out, I remember that my watch told me I had water in it. So I got scared because I was like, oh my God, what do I do? So there's a function that you push that says release water or okay, because it tells you your Samsung watch is full of water. Would you like to get rid of it? So you just push okay or release it. And the watch, the watches start vibrating like really, really crazy. And as you can tell, the water starts coming out. And when I saw that, for the first time ever i was like oh my god that's freaking dope like that's so cool but i've only, literally i only did that once because i was so scared of damaging it i do not know honestly how many times it can go in the water i feel like it can go on for a really really long time a lot of times during the day so that's pretty pretty dope about those watches is that the water literally comes out with just the vibration of what the watch is doing the watch is like let's just talk about the display the display of it overall it's really beautiful we really do love that circular like rotation around it but the most amazing thing is that the watches have Corning Gorilla Glass DX Plus and what that is is that this glass is so strong that it will not make the watches have scratches in them it's really really good and so far me and my dad had not have not had any scratches for the past year that we've had these watches because we are very careful with them yes sometimes I'm not gonna lie I honestly would sometimes bang it against things accidentally because I'm a little clumsy sometimes but like we're talking about corners like desk corners table corners so I would get scared every time I was like oh my god I've cracked it but no like they're in perfect condition that's how good that gorilla glass is is it's the gorilla glass that samsung uses it's 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 it's, it's i can't even talk for it because it's really good i have literally 
I don't even want to talk about it because I'm, I'm clumsy sometimes. But that's how good the, the Gorilla Glass is. So that's another advantage if you're a clumsy person like me and you're scared to get a new device, don't worry. But that doesn't mean you gotta drop it all the time, okay? When you don't have your phone with you because it's in your purse or you can't take it out, but you're missing headlines, you wanna see your playlists, you wanna see your texts, your calls, you can easily respond to your text messages, you can answer calls, and you can look at headlines and look at your playlists on your watch. Of course, it's a little bit harder because it's a small screen, but it's still good full HD on that watch. Really, really amazing. It is kind of hard to text on the watch. Of course, if you have like a little pad on it, it's really hard to text. But the good thing about it is that it has voice command for you to text and it has a little pad for you to actually draw the letters. I mostly use the, the voice command on this thing because it's faster, it's easier, and you just push send really good calls calls are really good too the only thing is that you would have to be like this to call or to like you know respond to the to the person who's calling you and um overall the volume is really good you can lower the volume you can raise the volume during the call but the only thing that's embarrassing is that if that's what you want and if that's what you want to do and if you're in public everybody's going to hear your conversation so if you're kind of like Ooh, on that then of course don't answer the call when you're in public but um, overall, that's, that's pretty cool about the watch. Now, if you're an active, athletic person, I would not consider my, well, yeah, I would consider myself active, but I'm still in love with the Samsung Galaxy watches. I do love the actives, but I mean, some of us are sometimes on a budget. But the good thing about these watches is that they do actually come with a fitness program, such as the Samsung Health. Now, the Samsung Health, it does include track select workouts and these include 39 plus workouts and the cool thing about it is that your watch will calculate when you haven't worked out so it'd be like you've been inactive for an hour now do you want to work out and of course you have an option to turn that off or you can just leave it on and just continue saying no or yes let's work out it gives you workouts it's amazing it can track anything that you're doing at the gym so that's cool because it has the GPS to track when you're running out it will tell you yes keep going on running it will track your calories it will track how long you've been running for now the also a good thing about this that with the Samsung health app and with the watch is that they do have a heart rate monitor and also a stress level monitor so that's pretty cool but um i feel like they both work on the samsung watch they don't lie because i remember i was very stressed and it did say i was highly stressed but i feel like that those monitors work a little bit more better on your samsung galaxy phone than the watch i don't know why that's just my personal opinion but if you're a person who's on the go and doesn't have their phone you can check your heart rate or if you're going for a run you can check your heart rate you can check your stress levels it's really good i i really like it because half of the time i do do the stress level one because like i said before college student trying to manage my stress trying to meditate a little bit more so who doesn't want that thing about the samsung watches is that you can do samsung pay now samsung pay of course a lot of samsung users and apple users know about this apple pay so you can do is you can pay with your samsung devices for example if you install samsung pay into your galaxy watches and if you don't have your phone with you you forgot your credit card your card you can easily just go bleep, and it's paid for who doesn't want that honestly i have not used it um, I believe, I'm not sure, I think my dad used it once and he said that it was really easy, it was really cool. So if you're a person who just wants to try those things out, which I am going to, I'm just scared because I don't know, it's, it's, it's dumb to explain. But um, due to the NFC that the Samsung has included in devices and in watches, the NFC is basically for you to share pictures information you know so i don't know if you guys remember back then the nfc when it first came out it was so popular because you would put two samsung devices back to back and if you wanted to share a photo you would click one one screen and then the photo would appear on the other samsung device i don't know if that's still popular but the nfc has upgraded with those things with samsung pay with um, connecting to your home devices so last thing i want to mention about these watches which i find like kind of i don't even know how to say it kind of weird 
but here like let me take it off because the 46 mm is literally like sliding off me because it's like too big for me but um the thing that i find very weird about the these watches and it's the only number one thing um is that when you buy the watch it tells you there if you want to connect to an android or an ios the thing that I'm very confused about is why would you include an iOS device to a Samsung device? I know that it's like basically both of them trying to work, but I just think that's weird. It's like connecting an Apple Watch to a Samsung Galaxy device. I think that is so weird because we both know that the apps on an iOS and on an Android are two different things. So. If, uh, it's my opinion if you have an Android or a Samsung stick to a Samsung watch if you have an iOS an Apple stick to an Apple device as well yeah I think that's all I have to say about these devices these really good Samsung watch devices I really still am in love with my watch and my dad is too he takes very very good care of them look at that different size man freaking crazy but really beautiful watches are they recommended for 2020 is it still good to buy them in 2020 a hundred percent yes what more can you want it's basically what the functions that the active has and they just have really good functions and i feel like it would still be a really good investment for you especially in year of 2020 just because the device is like two years old does not mean it's not good anymore so okay guys and that's all in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions on any um if you guys just have any questions in general about the samsung watches or any other samsung device i am willing to do that for you just please you you know that my social media is in the description box below please feel free to answer or ask me any questions and if you have any concerns or comments, please comment them down below. And please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope that you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever day you guys are watching this on. Bye, guys.